Is Cloudways worth it? Real user experience after six months. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my honest reviews and tips on how you can get the most out of your website and your online business on Cloudways. Today we're diving deep into real world experience after using Cloudways and hosting for six months. So if you're thinking about switching to Cloudways or if you're just curious and you want to know if it's really worth your money, if you want to stick around on Cloudways or if you should be shifting onto other platforms, make sure to watch this video till the end. We're going to be covering everything from performance, features, support, pricing, pros, cons, and real user experience. So let's get started. So starting off, we need to understand why we might want to switch to Cloudways. So before using Cloudways, you know, some typical shared hosting providers, and it can be fine. But when my blog was growing, the problem started piling up and I was dealing with frequent downtime, which was a really big hit for me personally. And with that, I wanted to ensure that there were no random connection timeouts and those super frustrating HTTP errors. So basically my site was getting too many requests and the servers couldn't handle it. On top of that, my site was loading slowly, especially for visitors from different regions. So my Google core web vitals were also suffering, which meant my SEO rankings were taking a plunge. And to make things worse, my old host didn't allow some of the best caching plugins so i couldn't even optimize certain things that i did want to optimize so we had multiple different alternatives but cloudways kept coming up as a top choice for speed reliability and support especially if you want more control over your hosting so after that i did decide to give it a try now if I talk about the setup and migration experience, it is very straightforward. Signing up for Cloudways was simple and easy. All you have to do is click on start free like this. Once you click on start free over here, you can proceed with your sign up. I just provided my credit card information and verified my email. So you can even proceed with your Google, GitHub, LinkedIn, or DigitalOcean account if you want. So you can choose to sign up with those particular ways as well. So you can select the account that you want to use like so, and then proceed onto your Cloudways account. Now within Cloudways, the best part about using it is how they have flexible tools and flexible pricing. And it was a whole lot easier for me to migrate my first website. I just filled out a form and their team handled the entirety of this particular process. So I did not have to worry about it. I did not have to stress about it, which is a really big pro. Now the next thing is performance testing. And as soon as you get started with Cloudways, I'm just going to connect our account like so. So for your account setup, you can just proceed and describe your business. After that, you're going to add your monthly spending, agree to Cloudways terms of service, and then just proceed. And you get a three day free trial where you don't even have to put in your credit card. There are no charges. You have free object cash pro as, as well as SSL certification. So we're just going to wait for our Cloudways registration. And after that, you are going to verify your phone number. So we're just going to complete these verifications to proceed. Now let's get into the big question. How does Cloudways actually perform? Well, my site content was pretty heavy. I got over 250 articles and thousands of images and about 14 plugins running. So on my old host, my server response times were around 790 milliseconds, which was not that great. After I had switched to Cloudways, I was able to view that my response times dropped to about 450 milliseconds. That's almost twice as fast. So this is one thing that I really noticed at first when I switched over to Cloudways. Not only that, they have made DNS easy, or they have made your Rackspace email easier with support for all your plugins, as well as flexible applications, servers, archives, and project management tools, or a easy interface. 
And the best part, my Google Core Web Vitals scores improved almost immediately. That gave my SEO a nice boost and I started receiving more organic traffic within my blog. And this is before adding any extra caching or upgrading to the Cloudflare Enterprise. Now, if I talk about the ease of use in the Cloudways dashboard, if you're used to using cPanel, Cloudways is going to feel a bit different at first, but in a really great way. The dashboard is modern, it's really clean and pretty intuitive. You can easily manage your servers and applications on the left tab over here. You can click on my applications to view your apps as well as to view your servers. And after that, you can spin up staging sites for testings and access resources and support all in one place. There can be a tiny bit of a learning curve if you are brand new to cloud hosting, but Cloudways has great documentation and tutorials to help you out. Now, I did miss cPanel for things like File Manager, but once I got used to using SFTP, it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, where Cloudways really shines through is their flexibility, which you're not going to find in other products. When well, you can choose from top cloud providers like DigitalOcean, AWS, Google Cloud, Vulture, and you have the pricing of pay as you go. So you're not locked into any long-term contracts. Security is solid where you can SSL certificates and you have amazing customer support. So if I was to discuss the pros and cons of using Cloudways, it's fast and reliable, it's easy to scale, it has flexible pricing with no long-term contracts, there are amazing security features input, and it gives you the choice of top cloud providers with some excellent 24-7 support. However, there is no domain registration or built-in email hosting, there's a slight learning curve if you're new to hosting, there's no file manager, only SFTP, entry-level plans can be pricier than shared hosting hosting, and it has limited root access for advanced users. But most users, including myself, are going to praise Cloudways for the speed and uptime improvement. Support is generally helpful and responsive, and the ability to scale and use staging environments for your websites are a huge plus. On the downside, some people have experienced billing or migration hiccups, and there's definitely a learning curve if you're used to traditional shared hosting. So is Cloudways actually worth it? With all the different hosting solutions that they provide and features features that they provide, I definitely do think that after using Cloudways for a little while, the performance boost, reliability, and support have been game changers for my site. If you're running a business, blog, or e-commerce store that needs speed and scalability, Cloudways is a solid investment. If you're just starting out or have a tiny site, the cost and learning curve might not be worth it. So for most growing websites, Cloudways is going to deliver and it's going to help you outperform your original hosting. And that is my honest six month review of Cloudways. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And, and if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video